What is up guys? We have a special treat for you today. We are actually in the field, me and Jay going to one of our appointments <laughs> in California, by the way. And so we wanted to show you what things you should be looking out for before you look to repair your next mobile home. So stay tuned. And for the best mobile home investing advice, don't forget to subscribe, smash the like button, and the bell button to be notified of videos we post every week. All right, guys, so we've been a part of hundreds of mobile home transactions, and many of them involve mobile home fix and flip. So believe me when I say we've experienced it all, the good <laughs> and the bad. And I would honestly tell you guys, if we would have known about these four A's before we started mobile home investing, we would have saved ourselves a ton of time and money. Yeah, so you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to these four A's that we're about to go into, and so that you understand how to evaluate the community that you wanna work in, how to evaluate your home before you purchase it, and how to do that before you ever spend any money on repairs or purchasing the home. So you don't wanna miss this one, guys. You want to check the application requirements before you even think about investing in a park. There's been a lot of times where we are going into parks and we found great homes, but they actually require a 700 credit score or they allow certain things that are just not normal compared to the majority of parks in the area. So you don't want to get into a home where, you know, you fix it up, it's ready, but then it's going to take you months and months to actually sell the home and you get stuck paying the lot rent in between that time. So always be sure, go into the community, call the community, figure out what those requirements are to make sure it makes sense for you as an investor. So the next A is amenities. And you wanna think about what does your potential buyer want in their next home and in their next community? Um, having something like a gate and a pool, like a playground, all of those things, clubhouses, those are things that buyers want because they wanna be able to come home and do things with their families and have those things to enjoy. So make sure you're looking at the community, drive around, make sure that there is amenities for the families or for the seniors to enjoy in when they move in. So one of the amenities you guys are going to want to look for is a gate. It's so simple, but it creates so much security. Oh, and for, buyers love that. Yeah, for buyers, for families. They want to know that they're going to be safe in their new home. Um, and so that's a huge amenity that actually brings the value of the homes up. And then simple things like look at the paved road. You know, you see there's pride of ownership with these houses as well. I don't see a lot of trash all around. I see that these roads that look like they've been recently paved as well. All right, guys, and the next A is appeal. Um, this is a home that we're actually looking to purchase. And before we do that, we always want to look and see, hey, what are the other homes looking like that are near mine that are in this community? Does my home have any appeal compared to the homes that are already at that park standard, at that market standard? So if you can see, there's a couple homes right across the street, this one right in front of us, and the one to the left that have done some um, recent rehabbing um, some requirements that the park had them do and we got that insight from the seller <laughs> and um, you can just see eyeballing and see how does my home compare to those other homes you know right across the street that give you a good idea of what to expect on your rehab from an exterior point of view and it help you save a ton of time and make sure you understand the budget the cost is going to take to bring your home up to park standards All right, guys, so as we're leaving the community, um, first and foremost, I want you guys to always think about what is the buyer going to experience? What's around here? What are some things that they need? Whether it's gas, whether it's groceries, whether it's community uh, schools, 
you want to think about the bio. You want to keep them in mind from beginning until the end. So we're leaving out of this community here. If you guys look across, you can see the gate there. This is a gated community. Um, this is really, really good. This is going to add value to the home because buyers are thinking about security, right, Samara? Yeah, so you want to just drive around the neighborhood and figure out what is around here. Is there gas stations around here? Is there restaurants around here? Is there things that families are going to need, like different stores and whatnot? So we just want to make sure that we're in a convenient location close to the freeway close to different things that people actually want to be by um, so it's pretty simple just drive around and make sure that this is an area that you wouldn't mind putting another family in yeah as you can see here there's a small community college right across the way that lets us know that's really good uh, I'm sure there's some uh, students that not only attend that school but live in this park across the street there's a small gas station here so that's really good we really like seeing that because we know the individuals that live in these mobile home communities they go to work and they need gas think about your buyer guys you want to make sure that the mobile home is situated in a convenient area area is very important with your buyers in mind this is really really good what we're seeing here we're coming right out of the community we see a a.m. p.m. gas station uh, there's a couple gas stations here uh, there were some signs that let us know there's a grocery store nearby as well. Um, this is really good. This is what we like to see. I even see a small elementary school around the way. I'm not sure if you guys can tell from the car, but this, these are all good signs. This is all what our buyers want. This is what they demand. They want to be in a good location. They want to make sure that they're not too far away from the schools, not too far away from the shopping and what do we have here? We have a church and a school. Yeah, so we just want to drive around the neighborhood before or after our appointment and make sure that it's in an area that's going to be desirable for our buyers in a location near freeways, near grocery stores, near um, food, gas, everything that you're going to need to live your daily life. We want to make sure that there's access to it near the community. So we hope you guys took a ton of value away from this video. Our experience showed us that, hey, you must evaluate the community before you do any repairs or buy your next home. Um, but if you're not sure where to get started with mobile home investing, maybe you want to get your first deal under your belt. Jay, will you tell them about some of our programs that we have available? Yeah, for sure. So first and foremost, we want to help you guys get started regardless if you have any experience, little experience, no experience, it doesn't matter. We want to give you guys the blueprint we use to close over 300 mobile home transactions to date and we're not stopping, we're still going. So if you're interested in getting your mobile home investing journey started, go ahead and apply at the link below this video. We have multiple programs that are built and tailored around what you actually need right now. So go ahead, apply, let's get you started today. Guys, so if you got any sort of value from this video, do us a huge favor. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button <laughs> to be notified of videos that we're bringing every week. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.